We have to admit we were having such a good time with Ocean. I really feel like we could do that for the whole month of July. But I like doing themes and I like switching them out because it just gives us this, a little guidepost to go from as far as our academic learning goes and gives me some new ideas and inspiration for getting something started. So for circle time, we're going to be doing the 10 Little Dinosaur songs. Have these cute props from Cheryl from teaching two and three year olds. I'll put that link below. And um, so I'll cut those out. I'll get those on the sticks. And then these number ones in here, there's some dinosaurs that have numbers. I'm going to cut those out and put magnets on the back and those will go on my magnet board. Um, we're going to be doing the 10 Little Dinosaurs book. And then I needed a pre-writing activity. The kids really like doing these. This is just kind of like a follow the path. And I printed these on cardstock. I could laminate them, but I'm going to go ahead and just try to use one of these plastic protectors. I feel like sometimes they um, are easier to use with a dry erase than even the laminating sheets. And then I have a pack of coloring sheets here. I'll put the links where I got all of these things below. I think this one came in a curriculum guide, but there are many free ones available out there as well. We're going to do this little activity. This is just a puppet with a paper bag of a triceratops, so you can kind of see this glues to the back. The kids will color those and then we'll cut them out. And they'll probably, I'll have them paint the bags. Um, and then this one is a paper plate craft. And then also we have a little book here that I found. The kids really like this. I, I have them all ready to go. I just kind of put them out maybe in our writing area and um, they'll come and they can work on that even for several days. And then also for our process art, I'm going to do this template and stamping and making a textured dinosaur with the Legos. Out on the table for our tabletop activities, I think um, this is kind of a new thing that they haven't really done with the object before we've done pom-poms, but these are little dinosaurs. I think there's a lot of things we can do with these like counting activities in addition to the sorting. And then these are dinosaurs that are matching ones. And I wouldn't normally get this kind of activity, but I have a little one and a half year old who loves like putting lids on things and matching things together. So I feel like she's ready for color matching. So I kind of got that with her in mind, even though everyone will love it. And then these are some stamps, I, these chunky stamps. We can use these with Play-Doh or I can put these in my tray play and maybe I will introduce the kids to stamp pads and do stamping activities with those. And then also this for my tray play, we're going to have some wooden cutouts. They love painting these. I have a little magnet we can put on the back and they are so proud when they can take a magnet home. And there's enough of those that everybody should be able to paint one. And then we have these stickers. These are kind of little puffy stickers, but I think they'll have fun sticking those on papers and making their little dino scenes. And then also in my sensory bin, I have these little um, mini dinosaurs and some kinetic sand and then these eggs. So I'll set something up with that in the sensory bin. And then also I love having um, prints of either artwork or real printouts of real images on the wall. And here's some of a museum and some different artworks of the diff of some different dinosaurs. So I can put these around and right at the children's eye level so they can see that and I and it decorates a room. I just love having some real prints on the walls. Just find these for free um, on Google Images. A lot of museum websites will allow you to save the images to your camera roll and then you can just print them right out. So stay tuned. Within the next couple days, I'll post a video showing us in our classroom and our classroom tour and the kids working with these new materials. Thanks for watching.